Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about this cool game called Luck Plus. This game was made in 1983 and it is for two to six players. Now this is a game my wife and I play a lot. We really like this game. Um, it says it's for ages seven and up, but I think that there must have been some very smart seven-year-olds back in the 80s because it took my wife and I a couple of weeks to finally understand how this game works. There's a lot of rules in here. It's a little bit complicated to learn, but once you learn it, it's a really, really fun game. This is a game that involves both cards and dice, and you're basically trying to get rid of all of your cards using the cards and the dice. So without further ado, here's how to play. Basically, the object of this game is you're trying to get rid of uh, all these cards. Um, you're going to be dealt eight cards, and you're going to put, place them face up, and so will your opponent. So your opponent's going to be able to see what you have. And uh, the way you're going to be able to get rid of these cards is you're going to basically try to uh, match um, the cards with the dice. And you're also going to try to match, uh, or you can match the card with the card that's here. Um, so there's a number of ways you can try to get rid of the cards here. These are your basic number cards. There's red, yellow, and green. And um, you'll see it says go, stop, and transfer. I'll explain what that means in a little bit. Um, you also see a card that says uh, transfer plus. I'll explain that too. Uh, here's a card that says doubles, which basically means if you roll a double, you can play this card out. And this is what I call the luck plus. This will allow you to play um, any number of cards of the same number at the same time. You play this, and then you play, say, these two fives, etc. So that's kind of basically what uh, the cards mean here. First thing you're going to try, I want to show you, is how you're going to get rid of the cards. The first thing you can do is match the combination uh, of the cards with the dice. So let's say you roll and you roll a, let's just say you roll a five. All right, you'll be able to get rid of head and play your fives out, like so, and then you'll get to roll again. And as long as you can keep playing cards um, on this stack, you can keep rolling. All right. Now, that's the first way you can get rid of them. Another way you can get rid of them is to match them with the card that's up here. So let's say I've rolled an 8, all right? What I can do is I can, I don't have an 8 here, but since I have a 5, I can go ahead and play this 5, and I can also go ahead and play this 5. Another way I can do roll, uh, match cards is what's called a split match. And basically what this means is, um, let's say I roll a 5 and I roll a 3, all right? I have a 5 showing right here, and there's a 5 on the dice. So what this means is, is if I have a 3, I can play the 3. But I can also get rid of the 5s as well that I have. So just for the sake, I'm just going to show you how this works. There's a 5 here, a 5 here, I have a 3, so I can go ahead and play the 3. But since I have these 5s, I can go ahead and actually match these 5s first, and then play the 3. So that's um, another way you can go ahead and get rid of the cards, is with the split match. All right, now another thing you can do is you can match both the combination of dice and the match pile card. So um, what you can do is, so let's say I roll a, um, a three, a two and a one, all right? I've got the fives that I can get rid of, so I'll be matching them with the card. And I also have a three that I can play since I've rolled a three. So I can do that, and then I'll roll again. There's another way you can get rid of cards. You can match both the dice with two cards in your hand. So let's say I roll a five and a two. I can get rid of both these cards right here, both the five and the two. So both of those cards will go there. You can play, as I said, a luck plus card. Let's say I roll um, a 12 or something, or not a 12, but a seven or an eight. I don't have an eight, so if I want to, I can choose to play a luck plus card. And let's just say, for example, there was an 11 up here. I don't have an 11. I can't match the cards with the dice or these cards. So what I can do is play this luck plus and put both these cards on top and place it up here. My turn, however, will end. So now another interesting thing about this game is the color. And I'm going to go ahead and explain how this works. As long as your card is a green or a yellow, you will still be able to roll the dice like I just did. Since I played a green five, I can go ahead and roll the dice again. All right, and now I roll a seven. Okay, um, so let's say, say for the sake of argument, I rolled an eleven. All right, the eleven says stop. Basically, what this is going to do is this is going to end your turn if you play this, so you're not going to be able to roll again. So what I'm going to do is I'll play the eleven, and then my turn is going to end right there. However, as long as I play a card that is green or yellow, 
I will be able to take another turn. So let me go ahead and just say I played this five, green five. I'll get to go again. All right. Now I rolled an 11. Well, here we go. I get to play this 11 here. And so I play this and my turn will end. Now again, this only happens when you have a red card. Your turn, however, will also end if you decide to play the one plus. Let me uh, try to show you one other thing here. All right, I've rolled a nine. I don't have a nine. So I d let's say I decide not to play a luck plus at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card. Now I have a card, but it does not match anything here on the board. So what I will do is I'll have to play it here. All right, I've rolled the dice. I don't have a nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw. Now I have a card that says transfer. What this card is going to allow me to do is, is I will be able to give it to my opponent and roll again. So I roll this, my opponent's going to get the transfer card, and then I'm going to roll again. All right, so now let's say I roll an 8. I don't have an 8. I'm going to draw again. Now I have a draw on a card called the Transfer Plus, okay? The Transfer Plus is a cool card because what this will allow you to do is you'll be able to, you'll have to give this to your opponent, but you can also give him one number card, and it can be as many of those numbers as you want. So I have two fives here, okay? So I'm going to give my opponent these cards right here. And I'm going to go ahead and roll again. So I continue to roll. And let's say I roll a six with doubles. I've got a doubles card here, so I can play the doubles card. So I'm going to go ahead and play the doubles card. And again, I'm still going to be able to roll. All right, so I'm rolling. I got a nine. I don't have a nine showing here. I don't want to play the luck plus card here, so I'm going to go ahead and draw. I have a green four, so I can't play it, so therefore my turn will end. Okay, so that is basically the way this game works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start playing a game. I just rolled a four, so since I have a four, I'm going to go ahead and play it. Okay, so I'm going to get to roll again. I've got an 11. Now I've got two choices here. I can play this, this one 11 right here, or I can play both of these 11s. I'll get rid of more cards, but because this is a stop card, that's going to end my turn. So I'm going to go ahead and end my turn, and now it goes to my opponent. So my opponent looks at the dice, and he looks at his cards, and he sees that he has an 11 that he can play because it matches this. So he's going to play the 11. He does not have a 5 or a 6 that he can play, so he will roll. He rolls an 8. So I've got this 8 here, but I also have a red 8 here. And I don't want my turn to end just yet, so I'm going to go ahead and just play this 8. You don't have to play all of them if you don't want. Okay, I've rolled a six, so I'm going to go ahead and play the green six and continue to roll. Now I've rolled a five. I don't have a four or a one. I've got a one, but not the four, and I need to have the four to be able to play the one with it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a card, and I've got a red five. So I can play this card since I've matched this, but my turn ends because it's a stop card. So now it goes back to this side. I look at the cards. I can't match anything. I can play a luck plus if I want to, but I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and roll. I rolled a 2. I don't have a 2. So I'm going to draw and look, I drew a 2. So since I drew this 2, I'm going to go ahead and play it and my turn continues. Now I've rolled a 5. I don't have a 1 or a 4 and I don't have another 2, so I'm going to draw again. And I've drawn a doubles card. I can't play it, so my turn ends. And now it goes back to my opponent. So he looks. Uh, there's no 1, there's no 4, there's no 5. So he's going to roll. Roll an 8. He's got an 8. He'll play it. Ends his turn because it's a red. Now it goes back to me. So I don't have a 6 or 2, but I do have an 8. So I'm going to play this on top of that. And I'm going to roll. Okay, I've drawn a 6. I don't have a 5 or a 1 or, or a 6, so I'm going to draw. And I've drawn a luck plus card. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, since this 12 is hard to get rid of, I'm going to go ahead and play the Luck Plus here with this card. My turn is going to be over. So now it goes to my opponent. Um, he's got a 12 that he can play on top of this and play there. He'll roll. He got a 3 and a 2. He doesn't have either. He has drawn a 2. Turn ends. Can't play anything. And basically the game is going to continue doing like this until the... Uh, the last person uh, plays his last card. So um, that's basically how the game is played.